all right, all right, all right, scavengers. Let's go get into some trouble or some dumpsters. One of the two. All right, so I was skateboarding around and then these dumpsters are always locked when I come by here, but I noticed this box sitting right here and it's definitely been left out. It's not new product. It's definitely been left out for someone to scrap. Acme Electric Corporate. It's a power transformer. It's very heavy. 170 pounds. What do y'all think? Should we take it? Nah, that's too much weight. That's too heavy. <laughs> Let's get it. The only thing about this guy is, man, she's gonna wanna, she's top, top heavy too. She's gonna wanna roll around. Hundred seventy pounds, bro. That's the whopper of the day. I bet it's full of something awesome. I see big wires. Sweet. Are you guys seeing this right now? Second dumpster. There's some rope lighting. Tripods. How does this happen? They look all busted though. Missing stuff, but they're all aluminum. Yeah, it's like they're missing screws and seem kind of janky. Let's grab that light. This is that same dumpster I found all that studio or that DJ stuff, like the lights and the other rope lighting. Oh, it's not. I don't think it's gonna have as much as it did that one time. I'm sorry. Yeah, that one time it was loaded full of stuff. Yeah, it looks like it on that. And it's cool they sat it right out on top. Because they know people come by and scrap this stuff. That's so cool. Anything over here? Dude, two dumpsters in a row. Mega huge score. Ow! <laughs> what? What? That old turntable. That old typewriter. Heavy. Oh. Look at that thing. What? Get this old turret tank right here. Oh. That's probably all messed up because they threw it in there. That's pretty cool. This, there's the way lid to the turntable. It's a Sony. Huh. The little scrappity squid. Alright. Weber. Set this right up. These old speakers. Those old Sony's. Ow! Yeah, boy. Not too shabby, y'all. <laughs> we got going on up in here. What is that? Is that a speaker? Man, and it was really close. Look at that. That's a kicker comp S. It was all moldy down here. Put that in Dottie. Gotta be bumping, y'all. It's probably blown though. But still, it's got a big old magnet on it. All right, y'all. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what we got going on up in here, y'all? 
I think I feel a little bit of pizza scram. I can't, can't reach it to the window. To the window. Ugh. Be my skin. That's like for hanging on one of those things, huh? Alrighty, y'all. <laughs> Well, we got up in here, y'all. What's this? Somebody try to become beefcake? Way? Got okay, here. See you next year. Springwood. The iPhone case. Old, old case, I think. Well, we got up in here. Got a necklace. Yeah, somebody's necklace. Yeah, see, this is what happens. Like, uh, I come here after the weekend, and then you find a lot of this household trash. I mean, you can't throw that in the trash. I mean, you can't throw Jesus in the trash. Here's a little bag. What we got? A little deodorant. A little lint stick. We got some toasters. Ah, uh, it's the Texans. It's kind of an old poster. Uh, oh, man. Yuck. Is it a card? Is it a thing in it? No. Oh, we got somebody's chopped up ID. Is that a name tag? James. Thanks for the stainless steel mug, the cross, and iPhone case. This is what we got there. Kenneth Cole, all over body spray. Eh, that's not bad. Smell good for the lady. What else we got up in here? Besides an empty box of gym heads. There's some cologne, y'all. A do toilet. I don't know what A do toilet is, but there's there's cologne in there. People buy that. Oh, there's is that the lid? Okay, A do toilet. Hip hip nose home. Got it. All right, where we got another one up in here? That looks like the polo. Yep. Good old classic right there. I mean, that's like, that's half full, bro. I mean, not that I'm into, you know, all this and that, you know, but it's good to smell good. Every once in a while, there's some samples. I know those are samples because my wife, she used to work at Nordstrom in the Galleria here in Houston. Yeah, chopped up credit cards. And uh, she used to always bring me samples from the uh, fragrance section. Thank you, mate. I love you. Ow. Ah, number six. Alrighty, guys, I came back to the uh, appliance dumpster for y'all. See what we got up in y'all. SVC part. What we got? What is the SVC part? Oh, that's like a, the front of a uh, a dryer or something. Like a front panel. That's like brand new. Now that I probably don't have a problem selling or trying to sell. God, that does look new, doesn't it? I have to take a closer look in the morning. But yeah, that looks like the door to a front loader. Oh, what else we got up in here? Dumpster? Buster? I'm gonna go get my feet. Uh, a piece of a fridge. Yeah, it's broken too. Just a plastic look like in, inside part of a freezer door. Anything? Ooh, box, watch my face, yo. All right, anything down below? This 
It's not even open. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, it's upside down. This is another one of those parts. That's a used part. I think that's a heating element. Cause you can see down in there. I think that's a heating element. Huh. This dumpster's gonna make me jump in, ain't it? Let's see. Let's start pulling out more stuff. Uh, see. Yep, there's another one of them ice things. Okay, well let's go ahead and just hop on in there, see what we can find, y'all. I got all night. Somebody's racing. You hear that? Cool. Well, that gives the cops something to worry about other than me. There's another one of them ice maker things. Good. Huh. There's a, a something in this box. Oh, this whole dumpster's rocking. I guess it don't bother knocking, huh? Oh, these are, uh oh. Electronic board. Ain't nothing special about that board, that's for sure. Grab it, though. Huh. Yeah, someone said that the, uh, these are all from a recall. And uh, it's kind of funny because my mother-in-law, her freezer, and her, her fridge freezer thing is a Samsung. That's pretty. That's like what goes inside of a microwave, I think. I think that's what that is. Huh. Um, yeah, she's got a Samsung freezer thing. And uh, it's all... Uh, that's just those springy rod things. Uh, and her free, her uh, ice maker quit working. So I'm like, well, we better call up Samsung. Because uh, I think there's a recall. I mean, that's probably why I find so many of them in here. That's part of the ice maker. There's another one. It's just full. <sighs> well, I guess we know Samsung sucks in the uh, in the ice maker department. It's another board. Another ice maker. Another ice maker. So I'm guessing there's something up with these boards too, because these are these are. Not an original seal packaging, so these are probably can't what came out of something. I'm wondering if they got some sort of issue with their boards. And they're uh yeah, there's another one. Hmm. That's all right though. I'll take it. That's a uh, hose for a uh, washing machine. That looks brand new. Uh, nothing down there. Nyeow, nyeow, nyeow. There goes a, uh, another ice maker. Another ice maker. That one doesn't have that piece of aluminum in it though. Ooh, look at that. There's a compressor in there, y'all. All right. Yeah. Actually, yeah, no, we'll take it. Just when you get these things, you put them in the back of your truck, make sure they're standing upright because they have oil in them and it leaks everywhere. Another board. And another ice maker. Interesting, interesting. Very interesting. We should do a case study. Let's see what we 
him up with. That is a not ice maker. It says drain pump. Take it. night folks what is that piece of a washing machine all right y'all well, I think we got it's that plastic piece again I think we got some of the good stuff here okay, there's another one of those drain pumps see something all right. Whoa. Hello. All righty, y'all. Well, I hit the uh, appliance dumpster again just for y'all. I just, uh, you know, haven't hit it the last couple of times because, uh, well, I mean, do y'all want to see me find this every night? I mean, that's nuts. Ow! Cool. <laughs> Anybody home? <coughs> well, all right, all right, all right, scavengers. Well, another successful evening of getting some stuff. Uh, we didn't quite fill up Dottie like I like to, uh, but I think we definitely made up for it in things that we could probably resell. And we did pick up a little scrap along the way as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off with the first find of the day. I think this may be a substantial find. This uh, Acme Electric Corporation, it's a power transformer super heavy the weight on it it says it's 170 pounds and there's a lot of weight up here in the top um i don't know if i remember correctly i remember watching a tv show uh how it's made and i think that they said these are well the ones that the big old canisters you see on the poles i think they're like full of mineral oil so i'm hoping that's not what most of the weight is uh you uh big time scrappers out there let me know is this worth cracking open is there a lot of copper in there i'm sure hope there is being that it's a transformer 170 pounds i'm sure hoping i get a pretty penny for that guy for sure uh the uh, appliance dumpster we actually found a part that looks somewhat new uh the it's like a face panel for a uh, samsung washer or dryer i'll have to do a little research see if it's kind of worth anything uh there's a, a used appliance dealer down the street maybe stop in see if he'd you know give me five five ten bucks for it if interested uh you know if not definitely scrappable for sure all these ice machines these are all scrappable uh right in here this piece you gotta take a few screws out you know if you got a little bit of time you get this piece out right here that's cast aluminum all day long got us a little compressor got us these boards right here these boards all i guess they go with the samsung electronics uh they're not real fancy motherboards or anything like that someone was asking what i do with the boards i actually take the boards to the scrap yard they take them as shred I know some of the nicer board. Well, I mean, I take the stuff off of them that I can, you know, like the aluminum sinks and the uh, the uh, copper and this and that. Uh, but for the most part, everything, you know, what's left over just kind of goes into a bin, and, and I, you know, they take it at the shred pile up there at the scrapyard. Uh, and then the one dump. So we found the old school typewriter. It's definitely, it's definitely been around the block and it is definitely in bad bad shape you can see right here it broke that's probably where they chunked it in the dumpster cast right there um cast steel i guess um uh, even so clean it up it'd still be a cool piece is like a uh, uh like a staging piece or a decorative piece even though it's not in working condition i don't know what brand it is it looks like the name tag fell off um uh, I mean, maybe it's something worth trying to find somebody who actually repairs these because it looks like it's pretty much all there. It's just been sitting for a long time, all rusted up and whatnot. And then we found the old Sony music system, the HP 168. We're going to plug it in here after the video, see if it works. Well, you're going to be in the video just after this segment of the video and see if she works. And if she does, I got a couple of records in there. We'll throw an LP on, see if she works. I have to dig around, see if I got any eight tracks laying around. Might have to call my parents, see if they got anything. Because <laughs> uh, I can't even remember the last time I've even seen an eight track. 
in real life but yeah the speakers are there turntables there radios there i'm really curious to see if it works uh i hope it does because that's totally cool for sure totally cool and then we found the uh the kicker subwoofer the kicker comp uh i don't really have a way of testing it don't know if it works don't know if it's worth anything maybe just sell it in the garage sale for a few bucks uh, being it was in the dumpster. I mean, there's probably something wrong with it uh, I actually used to have a couple of kicker 12s and uh, Don't shoot me or hate me for this guys, but back when I was a junior in high school I had a Daewoo Lanos. It was the hatchback. I got it off the showroom floor for like $12,000 it was super nice, but I put a couple of these in the back man That was the hardest hitting hatchback you had ever seen it make your hair move if you lit a lighter it'd blow the flame out like kickers man they punch they punch real hard um but you know that was my younger days more crazy days definitely probably won't fit in dotty but i'd love to put a, a nice system in in dotty although you know i really don't think i need a nice system because i can pretty much take care of myself uh then we got a couple of uh smell good things from uh my what was his name james uh, this is kind of cool. It's a Boy Scouts of America uh, Little mug it clips onto like a little bag go backpack in or whatever uh, Some cologne. This one's like half full like we were talking uh, It's the uh, Polo Ralph Lauren a little bit. That's probably about a quarter full mankind by Kenneth Cole It actually smells really good and then this uh, hypnos home I think that a do toilet or whatever. I think that's French for like cologne but it actually doesn't smell too bad. It's got a little musk to it. So I don't know, you know, maybe put that in the garage sale, 50 cents, dollar, something like that. People buy that crap, I guess. Uh, and then we got these uh, these tripods. It took me a second to figure out what these were for because they're so big. But I remember this is that same dumpster I found uh, all the uh, tripods in a while back with all the rope lighting and then the, uh, uh, the, uh, the DJ lights and everything and uh, this was that same dumpster and someone told me because I had found something similar to this I think maybe even the same thing uh, that they're for speakers like I guess you put big speakers on these it looks like all they're really missing is the hardware to tighten these down I don't know is there is there a clip or something up here missing or does the speaker just kind of sit on this and then you know they're a little but anyways little parts missing here like this guy it's missing the little bushing there but i think between all of these i could probably see one yeah i could probably get three of these in okay and in, in working condition given that they're not missing anything so any of you dj guys out there let me know if these aren't missing stuff uh because i know like this this silver piece right here this is missing in two of these so i got three of them so i think that i definitely can make three of them work but uh anyways y'all let me know on that but uh anyways Let's see, let's see, let's see. Alrighty, guys. Well, hey, that's going to do it for this episode of Curbside Scavenging. I am your host with the absolute most, Mike the Scavenger. Appreciate y'all tagging along. As always, it was a total pleasure. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel. Shout out to everybody that bought some merch. Uh, appreciate that, guys. Let's see. Uh, oh, and special shout out to Kevin Humphrey from Dayton, Ohio. He actually made me a little dumpster with his 3D printer and it actually had a little hose in it. So we actually had hose in the dumpster. So I appreciate that, Kevin. If you guys want to send me eclectic and strange things and cool things like that, you know, uh, check me out uh, or in the community section. There's uh, my uh, P.O. box. Send me some stuff. I love stuff. I love free stuff. I love all kinds of stuff. But anyways, alrighty guys, we're going to get back at it. Uh, probably, I don't know. It's either going to be some dumpster diving or some curbside. We'll just have to figure it out. Y'all take care. Ow! Okay, I think I figured it out. Dot com to get the new coupon today. Our stories. To breathe. And they've got... So it does work. Alicia Keys. Uh... -uh. This only. is available to United States bank account holders only. Terms and conditions apply. Message and data rates may apply. The Zell Services property at Early Warning Services, LLC. Well, yeah. Let me go get a record. Hold on. Hot Girl Summer with laser hair but it doesn't turn off and on. Image. And they offer a lifetime guarantee. Right, yeah. So you'll have... You can come back anytime for unlimited touch-ups. It doesn't turn off, though. Unwanted hair and... They hit monitor. Huh. All right, let me go get an LP. Boy, that's all kinds of bad. Oh, there's no needle. Alrighty, y'all. Well, that answers that question.
I bet it does work, but it needs a new needle. Would you tweet it? Awesome. That's awesome, guys. Woohoo!